this is here welcome back to my channel and welcome back to russia today i'm taking you for the first time to a diy store in russia because i was moving recently and i have a few things to finish in my flat hello to everyone who is the first time on my channel i'm a russian girl living in moscow i'm an ex-russian immigrant who lived in east asia but i decided to return home and now i'm a full-time youtuber who films about life in russia welcome This store called Leroy Merlin and it's actually a French brand that still operates in Russia. So for me it's like IKEA plus DIY and hardware. You can find here details for your interior and then things for your garden and of course uh, everything you need for renovation. Wow guys, this is actually very cool. It's like a mini factory with a lot of different equipment that you can create probably a wood furniture the guy is doing something this is an advertisement screen and they have some master classes for this DIY shop so you can uh, come here and create what you want I'm not even inside yet but I already want to buy something uh, those fake plants are looking great by the way and so here you can choose a live flowers for your garden. It is so nice in here, it smells so nice. Like a magical garden, look at this. When I was doing renovation in my flat, I bought everything from this store, like paints and stuff. But I ordered it with delivery because it's uh, cheap, it's like $5. And I never actually came to the original store. So today is my first time here, so let's get lost together. Because I live quite far from any of Lera Merlin stores, so it's very convenient that they have like this cheap and efficient delivery because i wouldn't bring the 20 liters of paint by myself such a fancy mirror isn't it like a superstar mirror it is actually crazy but i found what i needed just in five minutes it was exactly nearby the entrance so i want to renovate the uh, door to the bathroom and the toilet but i cannot paint it because the surface is so damaged so i need to cover it with something and i wanted to buy this and i was looking online um, to order it but i wasn't sure about the color of it so i found this one and I need to think, should I take it or not? There are not so many options whatsoever, just a few. And I don't like the wooden color. I don't like this. This is no for me. Um, yeah, silver. I don't want a silver door. Golden, red. Uh, uh. Uh, those are not bad but i don't want to cover all doors with uh, flowers one roll of this paper is 140 rubles so it's quite cheap i measured my door so the four is enough uh, for one door only i will check the color and whether i like it or not and maybe i will order another color for a uh, second door a dark and quiet road appears out of the smoke i like it here i started to have motivation to finish the renovation again because i was doing like nothing for the months because i was so tired 
one month of February I spent uh, oh what's the lighting because I near to the lights section of the supermarket so cool I spent the whole February doing dress renovations I didn't even film video for you guys so yeah it was hard and then I took a break for one month and now I still need to finish the bathroom and toilet and balcony as well. Looks so cool in here. It is a world of lamp. I would definitely want to change my ceiling lamps in my flat, but maybe later because I already spent a lot of money on doing renovation in my house. So, um, yeah. I spoke to the landlord and she actually agreed to give me a huge discount for one month because um, we invest those money into the flat. So now I live one month free, <laughs> which is really cool. I'm thinking of buying this one, torture lamp with a huge light bulb. I think it looks very cool and the price is kind of affordable. It's 2,470 rubles. It is pretty much the same as when you go into IKEA. It's very difficult to control yourself and not to get uh, unnecessary stuff. So far, I've got myself a new very soft pillow because mine is quite big that I have right now. I've got myself new lamps light bulbs and the paper so now i'm in floor section i need to skip unnecessary parts because i'm risking to spend my entire life here oh so this is like an ikea section where you can choose interior design and furniture so these are kitchens. I definitely need one of those, but obviously I don't have measurements with me. I want to cover my working uh, table because it's white and it's uh, going to be dirty without any cover. My inner designer is waking up here and he wants to create. I found a bathroom curtain with the same design as my door paper. So matching door and a curtain could be a good idea. So I might want to take it as well. I'm very hungry and it was a really bad idea to come here with an empty stomach. <laughs> I want an IKEA canteen that would be so so lovely right now, but sorry we don't have IKEA. Maybe they have some kind of cafe over here, I don't know.
finally it is an end i cannot believe <laughs> because it's like a huge labyrinth but yeah this is where we actually started It's time to do a little unboxing. I've got myself a new Hoover. Finally, today it arrived to my door. I bought it online because I knew that I need a delivery. So let's actually open it now. Uh oh. Ooh, nice. So I've got myself a vertical hoover, but it has a cord. It's not with a battery because firstly, it's cheaper. And secondly, like, you know, when you're doing your hoovering, your battery dies and uh, you have to stop what you're doing and like wait for one hour until it charges again. So that's why I just bought the cheaper version. So it should be good. And let me show you what I've got in my cool green Leroy Merlin bag. It's like uh, everyone had uh, blue bags from Ikea and now we don't have it anymore, right? So this is cover for table, not for this one, for another table in, uh, in my room. So this cute soap dispenser and then new economical uh, but powerful lights also to my bedroom this is a stand for tissues then this little thing for cleaning the glass uh, mirrors or the window this is the first purchase. It's a, like a paper wallpaper for the door. I have four of them right here. Oh, so this one is a new material. So it is a cement zatirka для швов. To be honest, I don't know how to say it in English. So this is a cement thing that you put between your tiles. I don't know correct name in English for this one. So then um, those are uh, storage uh, for for clothes, like to put your coat. Cause I don't need my winter clothes anymore. So I will put it in here and just leave it in my wardrobe. And then I've got this bottle looks like a juice, but actually it's Smivka для краски professional product premium quality so it's a paint remover uh, they told me it can be used for windows for glass or for metal and for other like surfaces so yeah i need to clean some windows and some metal things wow so this one is very important it is a spray uh paint for bathtub like literally i will I will paint the whole bathtub. So the guy from the store recommend me to, to, to take two of these because one is enough for a very thin layer, as he said. So whatever. Those are two lamps. Uh, those are a warm light because I hate when the light in the room is very bright and white, like in a hospital, I just hate that. And then what is this? Ah, oh, this is a soap thing. Like, yeah, this is very fancy to literally put your soap because I never had that. And I decided, oh, I should be fancy this time and I should have my 
soap dispenser and my soap sink you know because like this is my flat this is my rules oh and and the last thing is actually this one is very interesting because it is a marker for um the gap between your tiles like this world nowadays have everything that you need so you can actually paint your distance between your tiles so follow me and i will try it right now because i'm very like interested is it going to work and do something because this thing is kind of expensive marker it's like eight dollars for this one welcome to my bathroom guys as you can see this bathroom needs some work so i don't want to remove the tiles because it's quite fine it's just a uh, whitish uh, grayish color so it should be all right so what i will do is i will try to actually paint those gaps and maybe i don't know if it will work but let's try it guys so oh so i don't know is it going to be all right or not uh i don't know guys <laughs> so i will try and anyways i will figure something out yeah i honestly don't know guys because for eight dollars i could actually buy a few liters of white paint and just paint all walls in my bathroom i need to think about that so yeah i'm filming a weekly vlog right now so if you want to see how lisa is doing renovations you can subscribe to my channel somewhere here in the middle also if you want to learn more about me or about russia you can go to other videos on my channel and watch them all thank you guys also of course you can you can consider to support me financially because my income is only views from youtube and support from my sponsor so i really guys appreciate you so 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 much all right guys thank you so much for staying with me until the end of this video i miss you lots and thank you for staying with me until the end of this video and i will see you in my next one